Yeah, welcome back everybody to the channel. Today we are here to talk about browser games. Yes, games that run in a browser. You don't have to install anything. It's quite easy to set up. You know, I've always been very much fascinated indeed in browser games. Today, let's talk about the best one. Not, not Slither.io, definitely not. No, of course, we're talking about GeoFS, the accessible flight simulator, as in this thing actually runs in your browser, in your Firefox. Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Yeah, GeoFS, I think most of you guys watching this will know this flight simulator already. It's been a classic in school classroom for years, you know, running on all of them computers, because again, you don't have to install anything here. Just run the damn website and just press fly, which is amazing. <laughs> okay. We have a we're, we're inside of a plane. That's just absolutely ridiculous. Nice. Now, yes, this flight simulator has been out for a while, and today there has been some great news. The GOFS 3.0 beta has come out and we can already see by the screenshot which concludes this a320 here that there is a major change here going on first of all this looks pretty nice and second of all there's clouds yes they have added clouds and more to the gofs flight simulator everybody okay this is going to be amazing now normally this flight simulator is free but we only would have standard scenery so you know what let's go ahead and actually try hd imagery for this one we can actually start a one day hd trial there we go we now have hd perfect so let's give hd beta a try there we go just you know no talking hopping right in okay welcome to the gofs flight simulator and right off the bat after just you know simply spawning in, into this uh, piper cub we can already see what this whole update is all about we've got trees literal 3d trees 3d objects 3d grass in a browser running flight simulator D that is just absolutely crazy but right now in the alpine mountains and this looks actually quite nice there is some bugs here that's like probably what we're gonna face a lot here in this video this is after all a beta so bugs yeah but this is just absolutely amazing now we uh, <clears throat> can also check out some more aircraft this is something that uh, gofs is very much known for having a lot of interesting aircraft let's let me try the 737 or something like that here we go this is what it looks like let's go into the cockpit view yeah now i'm not quite sure what kind of pc you actually do need to run this in your browser i would guess you wouldn't be able to run this on, an, on a literal potato but this is totally working extremely well i'm just very much impressed what is even more impressive though to me actually is that this flight simulator genuinely has well joystick support i can use Oh, I can use this thing. This is a Logitech X52 joystick. Great. And I'm quite serious when I say this. We can actually fly our 737 with... Look, look the controls are genuinely moving. Um, we're playing this in a, in, a, in a browser, okay? Let's just go ahead and take off. Throttle also works. This is more realistic than Microsoft Flight. No, it's not. But you know, this is running on a browser. On Firefox. We've got grass. Now, something that's kind of weird, though, is that, you know, this is kind of the bugs again that we're facing. We're at Buox Airport here in the Alpine Mountains. Let me just tell. The airport in real life does have an, have an asphalt. Oh, there we go. Asphalt runway. A little bit strange. But we're actually flying a 737 in a browser flight simulator, everyone. I don't know if you have noticed, but... Oh, there we go. This is what it looks like normally. Oh, this looks much better. Yep, as you can see, beta is always beta. But look at this. Jesus Christ. Let's press G to put the landing gear up. Here we go. Landing gear animation. Very nice. GeoFS, everybody. Browser. Firefox. Jesus Christ. This is absolutely crazy. This is what the trees look like up close and here's a lake i think yeah buox is actually the airport where pilatus aircraft is situated let's maybe actually what happens if we crash here oh oh great yeah this is something i updated a few months ago and that is water animations and some aircraft carriers which looks extremely nice oh here we go this is what the runway looks like i like to see what's going on yeah i can imagine though you know with it, all those people trying out this new beta i'm guessing the <clears throat> server is kind of overloaded and i'm probably not helping the whole situation by making a video about this but this is actually this is amazing yeah this is what for example nice airport looks like doesn't this look i mean just with the with the trees oh they're gone now well, they were there this a second ago and 
Why does the flight simulator think we are inside of the water right now here at this runway? Okay, yeah, we can tell. Some bugs going on indeed, especially here at this airport. Jesus Christ. But what does look nice is the water animation, you know? What it looks like when we actually enter water. This is supposed to be water this runway. I don't know what's going on. But this is just absolutely nice. I mean, the, the treated trees are just genuinely killing it. Maybe try another aircraft. MD-11, how about that? There we go. And we can have a really good glimpse here now of what the ocean looks like. A very big refresh recently. And it's just absolutely beautiful very nicely realistic. But there's one big other addition to the flight simulator with this update, and that is especially weather. Yes, we have clouds, as you could earlier tell. So let's just turn on clouds. Um, option, environment, weather. Oh, yes. Weather quality. Oh, yes. Clouds, everybody. Volumetic 3D clouds that we can fly into, that we can fly out of. Isn't that as... That's just absolutely crazy. Here we can set the things a little bit better. Here we have some more clouds. Cloud ceiling. Damn. Look at this. Volumetric clouds that we can fly into. And I'm just going to mention right here, this is no, not a flight simulator from like 2008 or something like that. Like somewhat modern. No. This is actually running again here in Firefox. This is absolutely crazy. Yeah, as you can see, I'm rather impressed by what this flight simulator can do. Especially, you know, because it has something called uh, this one right here. The replay mode, it literally has a built-in replay mode, and guess what flight simulator that is actually a proper flight simulator does not have a replay mode? This one right here. Jesus Christ, look at the- look at this! You can pause the game, mute, reset the flight, okay, and, um, talk to other people. Chat is disabled. Great, let's maybe leave it disabled if I'm being honest. That's probably for the better. But that's just absolutely crazy. This is the navigation panel where we can see where we're at. We even have air spaces here indicated. That's really, really nice. See, I have really nothing to complain about. Especially because you can really go worldwide. Just enter your location like Lukala. 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 And we're in the Himalayan Mountains. And oh my god. Welcome to the Himalayan Mountains. Now, yes, this flight simulator is not as perfect. I mean, the Concorde literally sounds like a fan, like a hair dryer. Like seriously, hair dryer fan or something like that. See, I, that's not very impressive, the sound animation. Great. But you know what we do have here is a hot air balloon. And we're, we have clouds here as well. Yeah, I can really tell the server is very much overloaded, isn't it? <laughs> Barely getting along with loading the textures. I mean, you've seen it from the uh, the screenshots. This flight simulator can look actually very nice. I mean, just really, uh, it just keeps blowing my mind how they imagined it. I mean, what, if, what happens if we... Like, try to analyze the code of this site. It's just gonna crash the whole Firefox console. Oh my god, it won't even show us anything because this is so complex of a website. Jesus Christ, this looks just like such an incredibly complex website. It's just absolutely crazy. I like this. This is just great. You know what? I've actually even got a thumbnail shot here. Welcome to Lukla. The airport will be down here, but let's not attempt to land there. So yeah, that is GOFS Flight Simulator. I mean, just... If you can try it, it's free. And your browser, don't even have to install anything. That's just absolutely crazy. I'm, of course, always a big fan. Now, of course, it's not as good as like a Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. But it's not trying to be, it's just a browser thing. So that's crazy. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, uh, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes, Razor One, X Men Show, Laird, the Slama, Puturing, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Paralogy.